Hello everyone, photographer Andre Designs here with a new retouch video and today I'm going to retouch in this image that you see on my screen right here. <laughs> Alright, so this image was taken with the Nikon, I keep on saying Nikon, I think I need to get back a Nikon camera. This uh, photo was taken with the Sony a7 III, I was using the 85mm Samyang or Rokinon 85mm lens. Uh, I was shooting at 1 over 1 a second for the shutter. I was shooting at 1.4 ISO was at 100 and it was about 5 in the evening yeah and it was a bit overcast all right so we're gonna edit this image right now as you can see this image is really 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 sharp yeah it is and we're going to start editing the image the first thing I'm gonna do though is to crop the image so I'm gonna come over here to my crop tool you can press C on the keyboard for your crop tool and then I'm gonna come right here to where it says 4 by our 4 to 5 ratio which is 8 by 10 so once you upload this image to um, Instagram it will full it will fill the entire screen all right so I think I want to crop it like this I want to ensure that both sides have the same width all right that should work perfect so that looks good all right so the next step now is to zoom the image in and remove any pimples from the skin she barely has any pimples so i'm just going to duplicate this um, layer here and i'm going to press j on the keyboard for the patch tool and then i'm just going to remove i don't think this is a pimple let me see no that's not a pimple so i'm not going to remove that gonna remove this and uh, I could remove this as well and this as well and this and this and that and this all right so that's the first thing that you do you remove the pimples from the um, models uh, face I mean that's the first thing I do uh, I'm not sure what your editing um, flow is like but I like to do that she did her own makeup um, most of my models do their own makeup because I don't mind, trust me. Alright, so that looks good. And then the next step now is to do... Well, her face looks really good. I don't really... I don't think I need to do any frequency separation, but I'm still going to do it. So I'm going to come over here to the frequency separation action right here. If you'd like to download my frequency separation action, you can check the link in the description and you will see a link there for you to download it. Also, I'll put a video and how to install the action so you can um, check that out as well all right okay good so for the radius i'm gonna put that at 6.4 i'm gonna leave it at 6.4 all right and then i'm gonna come down to the low um, frequency layer right here and then i'm gonna come over here to my mixer brush the mixer brush is normally nested on the brush when you hold on on brush you should see the mixer brush there i took mine out because i want to get to my mixer brush as fast as possible and my shortcut is m and you could do your own shortcut as well all right so for the mixer brush setting ensure that you clear the brush if you see the checkbox the white checkbox like that right here if there's nothing there you don't need to clear the brush again because it's already cleared ensure that your wet is at two percent and everything else remains the same and do not click do not click sample all layers all right so i'm going to ensure that i'm on the low frequency layer and then what i'm going to do is try to blend everything together what i'm using right now is the left bracket to get my brush smaller and you can use the right bracket to get it bigger all right okay so i'm just going to blend everything together like by doing that I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to look too fake and I don't want her face to look too smooth. Alright, so what I'm doing, I'm just following the direction of the light and the shadow. And remember, when you're using the mixer brush, try not to do the highlighted area and bring it over to the dark area. Like for example, here is highlighted, you're not going to bring it over to this section here. You're going to do them separate. So you're going to do the dark area here. And then I'm going to come over and do the um, lighted area. I mean, there are some cases though you have to do that to fix certain things. But um, in this case, you know, right here should be highlighted and here should be dark. And then again, it all depends on how the light is, is, is hitting the model's face. All right. Um, I noticed that a few people have been downloading the action and they're having problems. They're saying that nothing is happening when they try to mix. 
you just have to ensure that you're on the mixer brush and you're on the low frequency layer and all these settings here are correct because if they're not correct you're gonna have issues and when you're brushing you may not see anything so you have to take that into consideration always do a before and after so I'm gonna just turn off the layer before and after to see if anything is happening and if you if you have the same settings that I have what I would suggest that you do is to close Photoshop and open it if you notice that it's not working properly. Also, you should pay attention to the blending option here because if you have it, if you have it on a different blending option, you may have problems as well when you're um, brushing and you're not seeing anything happening. All right. All right. So that works. So all I'm doing is just to blend the image out. And you should not rush that process, trust me. All right, so let's look at the before and after now again. So before and after. So I'm gonna go down to the model's hand and then I'm gonna do the same thing again. If you notice, we have shadow on this side and then right here is highlighted. So I'm basically doing the same thing I'm seeing. That's it. I'm done. All right. So the next step now is to actually um, uh, do dodge and burning. All right. Most people always been asking me how how do they use the color correction tool? All right. So let me give you an example. For example, right here is dark, right? Let me go over to um, brush. Yeah, let me use the brush tool. Get it smaller. And then right here is dark, right? This section here is dark, right? How you'd actually use this color correction tool is this. Let me show you. So you're on this layer, right? What you'll do is to hold on on alt on the keyboard and you're going to press a light area, a lighted area, right? And then ensure that your brush is at 1% low as possible. And then you come over to the dark area and you just paint. So basically what you're trying to do is to blend uh, the image itself by using color. All right. So let's look at it before and after for that. So before and after you see it was dark and now it's a little bit lighter than before. Right. So that's what you use it for. All right. So I'm just going to leave that there. All right. So the next step now is to do some dodge and burning. So I'm going to go to my dodge layer right here. And then I'm going to ensure that my brush is at 1% for the flow as usual. And then the dodge is basically working on the highlighted area. So I'm just going to highlight some sections here. All right. So you have to ensure that your foreground is white when you're painting on black. So I'm going to press X and you see that it's changing. Okay, good. So I'm just going to paint right there. Let's look at the before and after. Good. So it's highlighted. Then I'm going to go under the model's eye and do the same thing. I'm going to paint because you want to have um, a highlight under the eye itself. All right, I'm going to come over here and do a highlight again. And then the chin, you always want to highlight the chin. All right. So that looks good. Let me do before and after. That looks good. So I'm just going to blend it out a little bit more. I'm just going to bring down the highlights a little bit more down here. Perfect. So that looks good. Uh, I think I want to do some more highlighting right here. It's a little bit dark. Perfect. All right, good. So the next step now is to apply some dodge. All right. So I'm going to come here to the dodge. I'm basically going to work on the dark areas. So be on the keyboard. Okay, I'm still on the brush. So the dark areas are like right here. So I'm shaping the nose basically. And right here, right there. Don't think I need to do anything more, but look at the before and after for that. Before, after. Good. I don't think I need to do any more dodge and burning on, on any other side of the image, but I think I need to add some more dodge right here. So I'm going to click on, oh, I'm on the brush already, so I'm just going to dodge. Just lightening up that section of the image. All right, that looks good. Perfect. All right, so now we're going to do some coloring of the image. So I'm going to create a new layer. So it's going to be Control Shift Alt E create a new layer and then 
I'm going to duplicate the layer, Control J. Good. Then I'm going to go to Camera Raw. So I'm going to come here to Filter and then go to Camera Raw. And then I want to press Auto because I love to press Auto to see what Auto actually does. I don't think I like what Auto is doing right now, so I'm just going to unclick that. And then I'm just going to work on the different uh, layers now. So I'm going to work with the dehaze first. I'm going to click on dehaze and see what dehaze does. Dehaze looks good. All right, her face look a little bit dark, so I'm going to um, brighten it a little bit. Let me just open this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go to the shadows and bring up some shadows order for her face. All right, that looks good. All right, and then... I'm going to go to the blacks and bring it down a little bit. So basically, I'm playing with the colors. All right. And then this is what I do with all my images. All right. Um, for the temperature, I don't think I need to do anything with the temperature. Uh, it looks good. Color balance looks good. So I'm going to go over here to the HSL option. And then I'm going to ensure that I'm on hue. And I am going to play with the yellows. All right, so look what the yellow is doing. Yellow looks really good. All right, so I'm going to put it like right there. And then the greens, I'm going to push the greens up. So I'm giving this kind of earth tone type of look. Or earth tone type of look. <laughs> or maybe I could just put, I'm just going to put a little bit of yellow in, in the greens. And then the blues would actually change. Uh, I think I want to do that with the blue. Good. All right, so I think I'm done. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over to the split tone. I, I start using split tone a lot now. And then I'm just going to bring up the saturation for the shadows a little bit. Just warm it up a little bit like that. And then let me just play with the slider and see if there's any other colors I might, I might like. Actually, I like this. Yeah, I like that. Let's look at the before and after for everything. So that's the before and that's the after. Good. So let me do some more adjustments. Let me just come down here and see if I can. So this is basically the color grading process. And if you'd like to, uh, let's say you want to adjust her skin, um, uh, her skin color. Um, let's let's say you want to do that. I'm going to go back over to the HSL option, and then the orange. The oranges is what actually changes the color of the skin. So, see, good. So if I want to warm it up a little bit, I can maybe do right there. That does not look natural though. But if you want to warm up the skin, you can actually use this. You can actually use the red as well. Well, no, you can't use the red. <laughs> All right. All right. So it doesn't look natural doing that. Let me go over to saturation and see if saturation would actually be a little bit different. I think, yeah, saturation works. Like right there should be good. Let me come over here back to the um basic settings and see if i can put some contrast in it a little bit good that looks good perfect i'm gonna put a little bit of texture in there like seven percent you know what that's too much i'm gonna put like four of texture good so that's my finish product for the color grading i'm not finished with color grading though i'm gonna go to color lookup and you can find color lookup by coming here and go to color lookup where's color lookup it's somewhere right, right, right here good so i already um did the action for the color lookup that i use on my images so yeah so i'm gonna put this at about uh 50 percent and then i'm gonna add some blue to the shadow good that is it for the image normally i'd maybe remove this right here but it's not really telling you what the brand is so i'm just going to leave it like that so this is the image this is it i am done i don't think there's anything else i need to do this looks awesome so yeah so that it is it guys that is it i hope you actually like this um retouch that i've done if you've liked any of my videos and you're not following me if you're not um subscribed to my channel please subscribe because guess what i noticed that like so some of the videos i realized that when i check like the statistics i realized that 65 percent of you guys are watching the videos and you're not subscribed like really come on guys subscribe to the channel if you like what i have subscribe to the channel and share my videos and thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another 
retouch video that is coming pretty soon well and friday again next week friday <laughs> all right so thank you guys for watching and have a good one bye bye